here's a message. You have a half sister. What, what was your reaction? Hello, everyone. This is Mark Peterson with the Frog Outside the Well Research Center again. And today, as you see from the structure of the screen, we're doing something different. Uh, we are going to talk to three Korean Americans, Kyopo, uh, who found each other as adoptees and found that they are all half sisters. And I have a personal connection with this story because this is Laurel, that's my daughter. And so uh, these three found each other as half sisters, all adopted at different times. So let's talk about the dates and times and places and how it happened. And let's start off. Uh, Laurel was the third one to find out. Uh, the other two were Janessa and Melissa. Uh, how did you two find each other? Well, uh, I think it started probably with me about five years ago in March. My son actually had Kawasaki disease. Oh, yeah. which is like an inflammation of the coronary arteries. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of scared us. And I, of course, didn't know anything about my medical history at all. And so I had kind of dabbled a little bit about finding my birth mother just for medical history at that point. Um, I kind of let it go, didn't really get a whole lot out of it. And then my dad got me a 23andMe for my birthday last year. And I sent that off. I really wasn't expecting much. I just wanted some medical history from it. And uh, I, for whatever reason, thought it would be cool to open the results at work at my desk. <laughs> oh, really? And yeah, I found that I had a half sister, Janessa, and I sat on it for a couple of days. I did because I, <laughs> I wasn't sure how I even really wanted to approach it. I was really kind of just freaked out at that point. I mean, it was really cool, but I, I'd never known anything about any of my birth family at all. And so it was a big surprise. Yeah. Wow. So finally you got the courage <laughs> or whatever to, to call Janessa. Did you have a phone number or an email address? Uh, it just allowed me to message her through the actual uh, 23 and me. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I messaged her and she messaged back immediately. Uh -huh. uh, oh, I think, I don't know. It might've been actually a few hours. And then after that, we just kind of started corresponding. Wow. So Janessa, you had already sent your form in because Melissa found you. Yeah. I did my test um, like uh, six months or so before. Uh -huh. and yeah. Then also, and here's a message. You have a half sister. What What was your reaction? I got it actually really late. I I, I was getting ready to go to bed, and I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, as lots of people do, I checked my email because <laughs> that's what you should do before going to bed. Right. So I checked my email, and I was scrolling really fast, and I saw a message from Twenty Three and Me that said someone wanted to contact me, and so I clicked on it, and I went. And I looked at it and it actually, it, it was a little while. I, I really couldn't believe what I was reading. I mean, I had been on the site for six months. I, you know, there was nobody that I was really connected to. And I, you just kind of stare at it. And I mean, I cried, I laughed, I really freaked out <laughs> with my daughter. Um, and I even had her actually, cause I looked at her and I said, read this. Is this really what I think it says? Oh. And she's like, yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> How old was your daughter at that point? Um, 20. Oh, so old enough to really understand it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you two found each other, and eventually you met up. Janessa, you went to Iowa. My husband and I, with um, our family yeah. dog, drove out to Iowa from, from the D.C. area. Okay, so you two <laughs> met uh, in Iowa on the uh, 4th of July. What, what was that like? Uh, scary, <laughs> um, uh, excited, I, I, uh, nervous. I, I mean, there were, I, I mean, there's a lot of emotions. I mean, I, I've never had any blood relatives before. 
other than my daughter, I didn't know what to expect. Um, like for you, we, I was really, really nervous. We had talked a lot though on the phone before. So we had already built a bit of a connection. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I was going to be, but the second I saw her, I started bawling. <laughs> so yeah, is that ugly, excited cry that you don't want anybody else to see? And I honestly think it cushioned me for when I'm at Laurel because <laughs> I had already done it once. <laughs> um, yeah. So you, you, you had a, a real relationship immediately. For me, yes. It's and it's weird. I, I've never really. It's it's really hard to explain. I've never had that type of connection with anyone. Wow. Um. I I am one of uh, four siblings already, um, in my adopted family, and I, we don't have. I mean, there's just this, I don't know. It's just this instant connection, but you're learning a whole lifetime of information yeah. about the other person yeah. in a very short amount of time. It's, it's like I, other people don't really understand. It's hard to explain. Because so, it doesn't feel like a stranger. It's no. not like I don't know you. It, it's, it's comfortable. It's like we could talk yeah. about anything. Mm -hmm. And you, you two spent like a week together over the 4th of July week. Is that right? Yeah. Catching up. Shopping. Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> catching up. Catching up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... How did Laurel get into the mix? Well, did one Vanessa of you and I, her? we believe, you know, I mean, DNA doesn't lie, but we didn't, we needed a second opinion, I guess. Hmm. So we figured we would do another popular DNA test. And so we got Ancestry and uh, took that and sent it in. And we were, again, we weren't expecting anything. We were just expecting it to confirm that we were siblings. Yeah. And, uh, when it popped up, I messaged Janessa immediately. I was like, you need to check your ancestry. Like, check it, check it now. <laughs> uh, who, who got the message? Who sent the message? What, Laurel, how did you get the message? Um, Melissa messaged me on ancestry. Also, oh, Melissa got the message that you have a third sister and you sent, you sent Laurel a message. Yeah, Janessa and I had talked, and we decided that I would be the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. you know, I just didn't think that. I mean, like both of us messenger messaging her at the same time, and that's yeah. that's a lot. I mean, we'd already been through it. It was overwhelming for us. So to have two people be like bombarding you, hey, you know, yeah. we know you. <laughs> well, you know, they talk about the middle child is the peacemaker. <laughs> so, so the middle <laughs> child is doing the work. Okay, so Laurel, you get a message. What, you've got a sister or two sisters? I don't remember. I think she said, um, Janessa and I took this test and we found you or something like that. So I think it said two, not just me, not just her, is me and someone else. Wow. I remember you called us about it and... Uh, your mom and I were just blown away by this idea. What, what was your response, Laurel? Shocked and speechless, but I was excited and I didn't really know how to react because I was kind of like them, like DNA doesn't lie, but at the same time, you're like, this. how can this be true? Because it's never been true until now, so it's hard to believe. Yeah. So the, the, the DNA message made it clear that it was not a father, but that it was a, a common mother, right? The DNA knows that. Yeah. But you had, you had three different fathers, but the same, the same mother. Uh, yeah. How, tell me about uh, being adopted to America. What year was this for you, Janessa? Let's put the time frame on it. What, what year were you born? Uh, I was born in 1977, and I came here um, at six months. So I was uh, adopted to the States in um, 1978. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then how much younger are you, Melissa? What year were you born? Uh, I was born in 82, and I came over when I was five months old in November of 82. Uh -huh. And then Laurel was born in 1990, January of 1990. So you're five years and then eight more years, 13 years 
all together from the oldest to the youngest. That, that's, that's an incredible thing. Now, uh, I can't help but thinking about the, your birth mother. And uh, Janessa, did you have information that she had tried to keep you and then decided it wasn't going to work out? Oh, no. I was left on the doorstep of a woman in, in children's home. Oh. So uh, I was abandoned just on the steps outside. Right, at, right after birth, soon after birth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, the, the, the birth mother went through three different agencies. Each of you came through a different agency, which, which shows that uh, she, she didn't want to be traced. I wonder how she'd feel about it now. I, I wonder if she's still alive. I wonder if uh, somehow uh, we can get a hold of her. I don't know. What do you know about your birth mother? Nothing. She was an orphan. Yeah, that's part of the story from our side that she was raised in an orphanage. Uh, did either, Melissa or Janessa, did you either have that story? Mine did. Mine said, well, not necessarily that she was an orphan, but I believe what my paperwork says is that she was an orphan or in a home. And then she, because I think mine would have been right around when she was of age. And so I believe it was that she had left the orphanage and gotten pregnant ended up ended up going back when she was pregnant with me mm -hmm. but i'm not sure how accurate it is how uh, do we know how old she is or she was at each of these times in mine it says that she was 28 yeah and i think mine said she was uh 18 or 19 i think in my paperwork i'd have to go back and look well there's eight years difference between you two and and you're saying it says a 10-year thing laurel's paperwork said that she had responded that she had given birth before that it was a, but that it was a brother. And so is there a brother out there or has she just said a brother to hide the fact that there were two sisters and she's, she's saying this so she uh, can protect herself, hide herself better, you know, who, who, who knows? But um, uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if, we can, if we can find her through all of this. Uh, do you have things that are in common, the three of you? Do you, do you the same uh, movie stars or the same music or is there anything like that that's going on with you three? Not so much really like our likes. Pro probably they're similar, but it's more of like actual facts um. and like medical stuff and Melissa and my husband have the same name. Their names are very similar. Are, and your parents aren't, don't your moms have the same name or something like that? Yeah. Carol. Yeah. Yeah, Carol. So a lot of really extraordinary coincidences and similarities. Now that's really interesting. Oh, this is just really a miracle. Just absolutely a miracle. Maybe God has blessed us. Maybe that's uh, what it's about. And we're, we're ready to deal with this next phase of, of our lives, of your lives. So th this is really wonderful. Uh, Thanks for coming on, sharing your miraculous and just absolutely amazing story uh, with my YouTube audience, with, mostly with Korean people. American people will see this too, but it's a real remarkable story and uh, uh, we'll see what happens of it. We'll see if we find a birth mother or if it's just a miraculous story that the three of us share with the, with our, with the world. Anything else anyone wants to say? Just thank you. Thank you. We've covered the waterfront, I guess. We've covered the basic story. Okay, thanks, everyone. This is Mark Peterson again from Frog Outside the Well Research Center. We'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed this story. It's a remarkable, remarkable story. Bye-bye.